wish the entire day was just a magical experience. I think everyone involved would say that it was, from beginning to end, it was just a wish come true, and it really showcased the power of a wish. And then when you're on TV, you gotta look good for the girls. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Definitely when Director Milstead um, inducted Raiden as a honorary DPS, um, it, that was just a magical experience for um, for him and for all of us. What a good day. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. <laughs> this to take place today, you have to actually be sworn in as a state trooper. So if you want to do a SWAT operation with us today and be part of the team, then we have to swear you in. Are you okay with that? Handle the challenge? Yeah! All right, so what uh, Jason Leonard and I have for you here is, this is from the Arizona Department of Public Safety. It says Raiden Aguilar, uh, Tech 105, that's uh, call sign, honorary SWAT operator, uh, hereby awarded this certificate of confirmation, presented by the Arizona Department of Public Safety, Special Weapons and Tactics Unit, issued this 7th day of December, 2017. Who's for you? So, if you can raise your hand, right hand, Say, I solemnly swear. I solemnly swear. To uphold the laws of the state of Arizona. To uphold the laws. Uphold the laws. Of the state of Arizona. Of the state of Arizona. And provide SWAT coverage. And provide SWAT coverage. For today, December 7th. Or, no, no, I'm sorry, yeah, December 7th, I got it right. Today is December, December 7th. 7th. 2017. 2017. All right, you are in. Welcome to the team. Yeah. Yeah. SWAT guys could not have done a better job. I mean, they they made it seem like he was on a real mission. They did not leave anything to the imagination. Everything was planned out. Everything was perfection from beginning to end. I think Raiden's wish is, is um, unique in that it was an entire community effort. How many guys were going to be there? How many bears were going to be there? So it all kind of ad adds to that air of excitement because you're not really sure. You know, you don't have any expectation of what the day is going to be like, but you have all of these community members coming in and kind of adding every little, little nuances that really make it feel authentic and make it a, a true um, personalized and customized wish experience. Hover in a second. Yay, let's do this. It's a team. Woo! So Make Wish was actually very ingrained with DPS. It was started by um, six individuals who came together to create a wish experience for Chris. Um, he was a seven-year-old boy that was diagnosed with leukemia. Um, and he had always wanted to be a motorcycle police officer. Chips was very big at that time, and he wanted to be just like Chips. Um, and his mother knew um, an officer in the customs agency who knew a bunch of friends on DPS, and they had heard that Chris wasn't doing well and just having a very hard time going through all of his treatments. And so they decided to come together to create kind of a really special day for him to kind of buoy his spirits. And we call Chris our inspiration wish. So he kind of inspired an entire movement that now grants about 15,000 wishes worldwide every year. Because literally, I have a folder. It's, it's in blue. 
really important, I think. What about the good guys? I don't know. Wait, let me compare. <gasps> They're looking at me! Oh my gosh, and then look at this. Wait. Uh-oh, there are hostages. We need to go help them. You guys better get busy. All right, so you got that. Oh, there's a message. Oh, hey, could you read that to me? I can. What's going on? This looks like, this is a ransom note. Hey, hey, can you read right. it? Can you read it? Yeah. All right. What do you say? Raiden and Mariah, we have Buster and Glister. They Let's are see. cut, but they are ours unless you give us what we want. You have your work cut out for you. You have some great evidence. You got it? Okay. This yeah, okay. the good guys. You have that. Sergeant? Yes. I, I found some stuff here, too. I'm oh, not, man. I'm not sure what I should be okay. doing. Let's Is this a Nerf gun? I think this, well... It's got to be a Nerf gun! So, when Al finds out where we're going, all the guys are going to meet us over there. This is this is your pack with all of your gear Which in it. Which one's that? You have that one. This one's for you, Mariah. Here's what we need to do. We need it's to throw cool. this over. Okay. Put your arm through there. Yeah. Okay, we got that. Yeah. Now this right here, we don't put this on until we get with all the other guys, but this right here, this is your body armor. You're gonna wear that. When we go get the bad guys, you're gonna wear this. Okay, okay, and then Mariah, you have and one. Mariah, you but when you go with the negotiators, but, you're gonna wear but, this but, one, okay? Please be careful. Okay. Oh, we love you. Have Hi. fun. Did you really go in a helicopter? Yeah. Did you really? Where are you going now? Are you back in the helicopter? No, they just left and we're going to go into a vehicle. I gotta follow you for a little bit. Let's see, what kind of vehicle? Um, it's, a, it's an armored vehicle. A SWAT vehicle? Armored vehicle. Where is it? First time I met Raiden, he was, he was very excited for what we were doing and what he got to do that day. And a lot of it his parents knew about because we needed to get some permission from them to make sure medically he was, he was okay to handle everything we were gonna do. And then after that, everything that we did that day was a surprise to him. So it was fun to see when he got, you know, we gave him a pair of boots and then with the uniform, and then he was uh, sworn in as a SWAT operator for the day, and we, have a certi we had a certificate for him. And then it kept building after that, and then when we, you know, we did the mock call out, and all of a sudden I'm sitting there talking to him, and my phone goes off, and I tell him what's going on, and then we have a hostage rescue, or we have two missing bears, and we have to go start doing our investigation. And so it was, he was very involved in it the whole time, as well as his sister, and they, I think they had a lot of fun with it. Remember Al? Yeah. He just texted me, they found the blue truck. They're over there? They're over there. Let's go. Okay, look. Okay, hey, come here. Look. Hey, look. There's the blue truck. There's the blue truck right here. We got the evidence. Okay. We found where they are. So we know where they parked. Do you think they're in the building? Yeah, yeah. they could. Okay. They could be. If, if they're not, if they are in there, they could be just laying down in there. You think they're hiding? Yeah, they could be. We might just want to check in there first. Check in, oh, you think in the truck? Yeah, first and That's then in the... That's always check in the truck first, huh? Yeah, always, always, always check in a suspect vehicle. That's, that's, that's what a good the rule one. is, pretty that, much. That's, that's a pretty good rule. Hello. We found the suspect vehicle. Yep. Where are they at? Um, they're at... The, show them the picture. Who has the picture? You got it all right here. I got it. Okay. You got the address? Brandon's got an address. Put Brandon, you want to tell them what's going on? Give yeah. them a little brief up? Um, so it's the so um Kim gave us the evidence. Um yeah. she, she gave us this. So the um they um captured um the hostages um um and pretty much they are trapped in there, they can't see, they're blindfolded, so they can't see anywhere. Um, Raiden's a very caring kid. Um, he's got a heart of gold. Um, he likes to include anybody and everybody. Um, his teachers have pointed that out numerous times. It started in um, October. Um, we uh, had picked him up one day from school, and he had just told me that, Mom, my back hurts. And I said, well, did you do something? I said, did you jump off a playground? I said, he goes, no, Mom, I wouldn't do that. That's too scary. And I said, OK, well, let's go home. We'll get you all squared away, get you in a bath, and kind of relax, maybe a long day. 
Um, so we did that and the next morning I woke up and I went in his room after I'd gotten ready for work and I was going to get him ready for school and he woke up literally in tears and he said, Mom, I cannot move, my back hurts. And I said, oh my gosh, we need to get this figured out. So it went through um, multiple um, doctors. Um, they thought physical therapy, maybe it was a growing pain, um, was getting worse, his leg was giving out on him. So we ended up doing a um, MRI of his spine and that's where they seen the compression fracture on his L3 vertebrae. And with him not being in sports, they thought that was a little concerning. So they did a couple more tests and they ended up doing a biopsy off the tissue of his L3 vertebrae and that's where they found the LCH cells. Um, and so then that's when the journey began as um, going into Phoenix Children's Hospital um, and meeting him in on Valentine's Day and reconfirming the diagnosis and that's what it was. And the next day we were starting chemotherapy and it's going from there. So, in 1980, uh, my dad was the DPS director at the time, the seat that I currently fill. And in 1980, uh, a little boy named Chris Gracious was also very sick and uh, wanted to uh, have a wish fulfilled. Um, and here it is, 37 years later, and I sit in my dad's chair and we're able to fill a wish for Raiden and his family and his little his sister. Um, and may, this was DPS was Make a Wish before Make a Wish was even knew that it was going to be Make-A-Wish and uh, literally Make-A-Wish was ran out of uh, DPS headquarters for a couple years as it evolved and there was quite a few oh, people. there you are. There you go. <laughs> there were quite a very few important people involved in the process. Um, I went in a helicopter. Um, I came to finish up the hospital. Kim told us the evidence um, and other people told us that these bad guys are here. We're over here. So Third, and we we got these two people first, and then these two people next. So we had her. She made an extra one. She's right. She's way up there. Give an extra Oh, he wanted. <laughs> you happy, buddy? I'm happy. I don't look good, but I am. 
I would like to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart, um, from the Make-A-Wish to DPS, um, just to everybody that has put an ounce, a minute of their time into this for my son. Um, it does mean a tremendous amount, not only for me to see him in such a joy for eight hours of a day, um, but also to know that it also not only affected him, but also affected the force as well. Um, and that I hope they continue to do this for other kids because it does mean a whole lot. Even if it's a day for them, it's a year long for us. Um, and that's what I really hope that everybody just continues to really put their heart into it like they did um, because it does mean a lot.